Hello and welcome to another episode of The Zoo. Today we're going to talk about a virtual chat, a solution from BMC Software. And here to explain to me what that is, is Derek Gosen from Vancouver. Where? Welcome, Darren. Thanks, Alf. Let's jump right into it and say, what is virtual chat? It's a suite of solutions, right? Uh, can you help me understand that a little bit? It is, yeah. Virtual chat is a product at BMC that allows for chat-based support from business users to agents. It actually consists of a couple of similar but different products in it or different kind of use cases. One is the ability to connect with a virtual agent, and that's like a software um, automating conversations with customers for support. And it also gives the ability to escalate that conversation with that virtual virtual agent to a live chat so you can actually chat with a live person within your support desk of course both of those are configurable you can turn them on or off you can decide to only deploy a virtual agent or only deploy a, a live agent or deploy both that's it and so are people using all of it or some people just doing the live chat versus the virtual agent so i mean we have all scenarios. We have some customers that are using all of it. And really the virtual agent side is there to deflect the routine service calls, be able to provide self-help to customers without um, actually opening, opening incidents and, and conversing with the support agents. And we have customers that are using the live chat only and which really provides a great channel for business users to get uh, access to support in a very immediate way and a very familiar way. So the ver so the, the chat I get and you know is regular instant messaging. So explain a little bit how does virtual agent work? Like, how does it know the answers to my question? If I ask, I can't log on to VPN. How the heck does this digital thing know what to say? Yeah, good question. I mean, the virtual agent uh, can can be configured to multiple data sources. Obviously, with uh, BMC and Remedy Knowledge Management, we have a great knowledge source available and there's a deep integration with that knowledge source uh, you can create frequently asked questions and kind of tailor it to, so that the agent answers in a very sort of conversational way and uh, that's called artificial intelligent markup language or AML. and you can really configure it to any knowledge source that has the web services available ask a question get a response back and hopefully provide answers to your customers right up right out of the gate so knowledge management becomes more important because, well, right now, knowledge management is esoteric articles written by engineers for engineers that no regular person really understand. But with virtual agent, it becomes more important to have uh, more accessible information and maybe a deeper and wider uh, uh, library of, of knowledge articles in, in, in the, in the in, in enterprise. Uh, so if I expand my knowledge management article library, the virtual agent can actually delivering it to our customers. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. It can pick up that, that knowledge management. And like you said, it is very important. I mean, the, the virtual agent is as smart as your, as your knowledge database, right? So providing and creating content where it is very applicable to the broad um, issues that you have within your organization. And it's in a way that is very presentable to your customers so that they can easily consume it is important and provides a ton of value to the virtual agent. So who are the companies that use something like a virtual agent? Uh, is it small businesses or larger enterprises? What type of organization are we looking at? It, I mean, it's both really. Um, we have a lot of customers that are very large enterprise organizations that deploy virtual agent and live chat across over 100,000 users within their organization. They do 24 seven support and can uh, support in multiple languages uh, across the globe. And then we have smaller organizations who might do it to you know, 5,000 or less individuals, deploy it up to 5,000 or less individuals. And in some cases, it's actually their primary means of support. Uh, we see it with organizations where they're all essentially internal business developers and Organizations like a restaurant business, for example, that has the, the actual franchises use the product to um, get support for issues that they might have out in the field. You said that the, the language can be translated. So what language do you offer and how, how do I do that? If, if I have a 
if I'm an American company and I have Chinese customers or, or Spanish customers, uh, how do we communicate? It's actually a pretty neat solution. What we do is integrate with uh, language translation services and we translate the content on the fly. So the agents always get that consistent message in English, but if the end users are uh, conversing or typing in a different language, we can convert it into English. It gives you the value in that all of your conversations with customers are saved in one standard language and they're all recorded as incidents in, in your incident database. Uh, but gives the flexibility for your end users to, to converse in their native language. So what's the benefits to me as an end user? I personally, I like the human touch, but I understand a lot of people like, is it faster service or better service or what's the upside for the customer? Well, it's definitely a more direct service. So I ask a question and I get a response right away rather than initiating a ticket over email. Um, it's also very familiar for business users. Business users use chat and text and instant messaging in their consumer lives as well as in their business lives, you know, conversing with peer to peer. So it's something that makes a lot of sense for them. They can ask a question and continue with what they're working on so they can multitask and uh, the support agent will get back to them and um, they don't have to be dedicated. If you if you call in on a phone, you're very dedicated to that conversation, whereas uh, you can start, initiate support with chat and continue working with what you're on. So there seems to be, so on one side, it's more direct for me than you but on the other side, it lets IT do more with fewer resources. Uh, if you're a Remedy customer, how does this integrate with Remedy and how does it work with the My IT Cell Service app? So for Remedy customers, this is a Remedy application. It's built within Remedy. It has obviously a very direct integration. Uh, one of the you know key things and, and real value drivers of the product is that integration with Remedy. It automates creating incidents and requests. So the agent essentially is conversing and chatting with the end user and supporting them and all of that information is automatically being added to a ticket. Agents no longer have to create tickets. They just have to support customers. Um, within my IT, it's part of our digital workplace uh, bundle because it really provides that, that, um, that, that virtual assistance avenue out of my IT. Within my IT, you have the ability to click on a chat icon and, and open up the virtual chat product and start to get chat support directly. So I get the chat thread. What else do I see if I'm an if I'm an IT agent? Do I see previous tickets or or, or help or what's there to augment my existence as an IT agent? Yeah, I mean the IT agent can. The nice thing for them is they can work on multiple chats at one time, really up to four. Uh, okay. So I mean that obviously lends to the multitasking of of the agent they can see all of the customer information so as the customer starts a conversation with them they can see who they are where they are they can see the assets they have you know whether they're a vip or their role within the organization um, as well as they have a lot of functionality that can help them support them better they can send out um, common quick texts or quick uh, scripts you know common scripts that you, you would use with every customer and not have to actually type out those texts. So there's a lot of tools that really increase the productivity for the agent within the, the support agent console. So we're not abandoning in the ITIL processes and sort of go like wild pirates, just taking care of customers as we see nilly willy. Uh, there's actually processes that guides me as an IT agent as I work with customers, even though it's through chat or even if it's a virtual agent, which is you know totally digital. That's exactly uh, right. And uh, we have also have smart IT on the remedy side. Do these connect or how does that work? It's actually something that we're working on right now. The uh, personas or users of, of smart IT and the support agent console are the same people. They work within the same organization. And we're developing our plans right now to build those capabilities within smart IT. And there's some pretty neat integration points that we're that we're working on there. And that's around really getting the agents very quick access to knowledge as the chat is coming up, being able to essentially 
monitor and search the transcript of the chat and bringing up the appropriate knowledge, being able to pin that knowledge and pass it off to the end users, um, you know, agent to agent type chats. There's a, there's a ton of cool little integrations that we'll get out of um, building those capabilities in smart IT. It seems to be heading us towards the proactive IT where we eventually have to go versus the reactive IT, which is the existence we are suffering in now. Um, and, and this seems to be a step forward there. But it's still, uh, still one question I have is, it's not new, you know, it, is there messaging and chat and even virtual aid something is new. Why do you think it's so popular? Because right now it seems to be one of the hotter products in the market. Uh, why is it taking off today? For sure. I mean, it's, it's not new, but it is a tool and a means of communication that uh, business users and agents use in the in the other parts, the non-support part of their job functions, as well as in their consumer lives. Uh, so it's a very familiar technology. Uh, the other thing is we see is chat and phone. These are all getting married together with unified communications. It's essentially becoming one product. Um, so opening up a chat channel within your support organization um, is essentially working towards uh, combining all of those products together so that we're giving our business users different options in which they can contact support. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. Consumer technology has been driving this very much uh, on every level. Every type of enterprise technology is today dictated to by the consumer technology. So it just makes sense. Well, thank you so much, Darren. I appreciate you taking the time and educating me on the virtual chat. I think it seems to be like a beautiful experience. I must try it myself. It is. Thanks for the time, Al. Rest out there. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye. All right.